some harsh words for Hillary Clinton and the mainstream media. Let's take a look. The American liberal press, uh, in falling over themselves uh, to defend Hillary Clinton, are erecting a demon uh, that is going to put nooses around everyone's necks uh, as soon as he wins the election, which he is almost certainly going to do. Now, he was not mentioning words there, but that's not all. In other interviews, Assange has said that he has, quote, significant documents that would be damaging to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Here to join us and explain more, the man himself, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Julian, how are you, sir? Welcome to the program. Uh, good day, Sean. I mean, well, as can be expected for being detained for six and a half years without charge. You know what? I, I understand. You know, part of me at, in the beginning was conflicted about you. And I'll tell you why. I believe in privacy. I believe that people, especially when it comes to private emails, personal emails, etc., and I think people have a, a right to that privacy. On the other hand, you have done a lot of good in what you have exposed about how corrupt, dishonest, and phony our government is, and I applaud that. I think that's good that we know that. Do you understand people when they talk to you about the, the privacy issue? I, I do, and we've exposed a lot of governments. So WikiLeaks has, you know, we specialize in uh, bringing the First Amendment to the world, and we were always very surprised uh, that one of our biggest battles would be trying to bring it to the United States uh, under an Obama administration. Yeah, that's interesting you say. Why do you say that that's a surprise to you? Well, because if you see the, the rhetoric coming out of the Democrats is that they're pro-civil liberties, and an important part of civil liberties is respect for the First Amendment uh, and the rule of law, and that has broken down uh, under the Obama administration, and Hillary Clinton was part of that process. She has, and the Obama administration has, uh, attempted to prosecute more journalists and journalistic sources under the Espionage Act, that same Espionage Act that she was being investigated under, than all previous presidencies combined. Yeah. Not just more than any one of them, than more than all of them combined. So there's, under Obama, an uh, epidemic uh, has developed of abusing national security laws to crack down on what is legitimate use of the First Amendment. You said to PBS that you have a significant amount of information, the information itself is significant, pertaining to Hillary Clinton's campaign. You will be releasing it in several batches as you are finishing it from a journalistic standpoint. How many batches, as you describe them, do you think you'll be releasing and how soon? Uh, tricky question, Sean. Um, well, that's actually a pretty uh, simple I, one. That's not tricky. <laughs> the first batch is reasonably soon. We're quite confident about it now. Uh, we might put out some teasers uh, as I don't want to promise anything because you have to see how the formatting goes, but uh, we might put out some teasers as early as the next week or the week after. Last question. It's not really hard to hack into these even secure systems, is it? They're really, I've talked to some, some real smart computer friends of mine. They say it's far more simple than anybody would ever know. Is that true? Uh, it is. If I just I just want to say one thing. Um, in the FBI report released Friday, I agree with your analysis. It is very strange that was released Friday afternoon on a Labor weekend. I do think it draws questions as to what sort of game the FBI is trying to play. Uh, but there is Hillary Clinton says that she can't remember what a C in brackets stands for. Everyone in positions of government and in WikiLeaks knows it stands for classified confidential. And in fact, we have already released. Uh, thousands of cables by Hillary Clinton. Here she is, Clinton. See, that's her signature, Clinton, with the C in bracket right there. Wow. Thousands of examples where she herself has used the C in brackets and signed it off. And more than 22,000 times that she has received cables from others uh, with this C in brackets. So it's it's absolutely incredible for Clinton to lie she is lying uh, about not knowing what that is but it's it's a bit disturbing that james coney uh goes along uh, with that game wow julian assange uh, fascinating i do hope you get free one day i wish you the best thank you for being with us thank you sean all right we'll have part two of that interview coming up tomorrow now the fbi did a huge document dump on friday releasing its report on the investigation of Clinton's email server, Larry Elder, Doug Schoen, weigh in next, plus tonight.